Hey everyone, it's Lauren Messiah, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to transform your wardrobe with the help of a tailor. Okie doke. So, <laughs> I think it's pretty widely known that most people are like tailor phobics. They are always like, Lauren, this doesn't fit me right. What do I do? What brand? And I say, go to a tailor, go to a tailor, go to a tailor. No one wants to go to a tailor. Listen, said it once, said it a thousand times. The tailor is your friend. They can make your clothes look better, fit better, feel better, your confidence increases. Just go to the on tailor. Now, once you get in the habit of going to the tailor and understanding how $15 can transform, you know, how you feel about a pair of pants, you're gonna start going more often. Now, what I wanna teach you today is while you're making those trips to the tailor, I want you to expand your mind past the normal things a tailor could do, like hemming your pants, that's a normal thing, you know, adjust, fixing a button, normal. But next time you go in, think about some of the items in your closet that you like, but you could love, you're not wearing, because something about them is a little teeny bit off. Take those things to the tailor and you'll be shocked at what they can do. So I wanna give you an example of one garment that I took to the tailor and altered, and another one that I'm going to be taking, and then I'm gonna show you guys the behind the scenes content and to see if my little experiment turns out right. So here's the first one. This has already been tailored. Um, this is just a little, a little dress. And when I bought it, I don't know, this is one of those things where like, I bought it and I wasn't sure and I returned it and then I rebought it and then I wore it. And I was like, I still don't know how I feel about it. So I took it to the tailor. These sleeves started off probably like three, four inches longer than this. Like they ended like here, kind of awkward. So I had the tailor shorten the sleeves, okay? Made a huge difference. This dress was also way longer. It was kind of like a midi dress that hit mid calf. I had them shorten it. It also fit a little bit boxy. So I had them tailor it in at the waist a little bit. Um, it still has a belt so it can be a little tighter. And it turned into like kind of a cute 50s style dress where before it was just kind of like an oversized midi situation. So, you know, I think that alteration maybe cost me 30, $35. And it's basically like I have a brand new dress. So I brought new life to something that I'd purchased and it wasn't getting as much play as it should have. So that's one example. This will be hopefully a new great example. So this Koopal's dress, it's been hanging in my closet for a long time. And honestly, like I don't really wear it, but it's one of those pieces where sometimes when you're doing a closet cleanse, you're like, well, you know, what are the rules that they say, haven't put it on in a year, get rid of it. But I know that it's like a useful piece, you know, like, I don't know if I had to go to like a funeral or something, like I could put this on. Um, it's it's kind of classic, you know? So the other day I put it on and I started messing around with it. I was lazy and I still had my jeans on underneath. And I'm like, this would be so cute if this were a jacket. So I kind of rolled it under, saw it jacket length, and then I put this little Chanel uh, brooch on it. And I was like, I'll be, this looks like a damn Chanel jacket. And it's been on my shopping list to find essentially a Chanel jacket that looks exactly like this. So I'm gonna take this dress, see it's like a full, full on dress. I'm gonna take this sucker to the tailor and get it hacked off to here. And I'm gonna see if I can make it a jacket. I might have to lose those bottom pockets because, let's unbutton this. It zips, you know, the zipper stops right here. So I'll probably have to like make it end. They might even have to put a new zipper in. I don't know, they're gonna have to do a little bit of work, 
But the fit is good otherwise. I'm just kind of like over the dress and the length of it. And pop this on. It's like a, it's a faux Chanel. So I'm gonna take this to the tailor and I'm gonna see if I can maximize that garment with the help of a tailor. And if I can turn that into a cute jacket for like under 50 bucks, score! Do you know how much a dang Chanel jacket is? Let alone a classic black one. I've been on the hunt for a good one for years and have come up with nothing. So if I can hack that, oh, we are winning. So I'm gonna take you guys along as I work on that. And in the meantime, I'm gonna challenge you to find one garment in your closet that you could tweak up with the help of a tailor. Maybe it's taking a regular pant and turning it into a cropped pant. You know, maybe it's taking a long sleeve blouse and making it a sleeveless blouse. Maybe it's taking a jacket and having the tailor replace all the buttons and I don't know, fray the bottom. Get creative and see what you can transform. I would love to see the final product. So if you end up doing it, please take a picture, email it to me, tag me on Instagram. I would love, love, love to see it. Wish me luck on my jacket and I will see you all later. Lauren Messiah. So I'm Lauren Messiah. Hello. <laughs> Here I took a oversized Dodgers jersey, which is for a man. Yeah. Put a belt over it Look and that. some heels. We have just brought sexy back yes, you have. to the Dodgers. So, you know. I mean, the Puig jersey has never looked so good. <laughs> like this.